What's up, Capricorn darlings? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you you all's motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this Capricorn reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Capricorn gods. All right, babies. I did get one clear audience message. Um, and that's that you guys need to, you guys might be dancing to some communication or some messages that you might be getting. Okay. Or there's some quick action that's moving directly towards you. Um, but I feel like there's a message of some sort of importance or some unfinished business that you guys have. So let's go ahead and get an overall energy for my Capricorns. And while you're here, make sure that you hit that motherfucking like, share, and subscribe button. All right, we got Witch Justice is coming. What'd I tell you? So there's some unfinished business. You guys could be dealing with a Librian energy. But I'm seeing that for some of you guys, there is definitely a vibe of somebody that has to pick and choose or... This could be you having different variations, okay? But I feel like justice could be important. Some of you guys could be dealing with law enforcement, okay? You also could be dealing with the judicial system, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. Give me the overall energies for my Capricorns, but definitely a lot of action. Or some of you guys feel like there's some unfinished business. You got to put your combat boots on or you got to put your heels on, baby. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. So first things first on your mind is some money, baby, okay? This could be movement. This could be a financial offer. This could be some sort of offer that's going to help you in your plans, okay? So Ace of Pentacles here already off top, Capricorn. So I'm getting a lot of money. You guys could be dealing with a uh, Cancerian as well. I'm seeing some of you guys driving or some of you guys doing some sort of... Uh, I feel like you guys might be driving someone, okay? But I also feel like uh, for some of you guys, this could be just some forward movement that's happening. But all together with the Queen of Cups here, I'm seeing some of you guys are thinking about that loving, mothering energy. Okay, this could be taking care of your children, taking care of what needs to be done around the house. Okay, that very soft maternal type of energy here. But also knowing that justice is going to be a very protective as well, too. So I see a lot of you guys have protection on your mind. Okay, but also that maternal instinct as well for some of you. So let's go ahead and jump into this shit. Let's see what's popping for you guys in love. I do see the Eight of Wands once again as I'm splitting the deck. So a lot of you guys have information news coming your way. This could be about something that's been justified. Okay, a karmatic cycle. So here we have you, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is your energy. We also have the Page of Pentacles. So I see a lot of you guys are obtaining some sort of, um, this could be paperwork, this could be finances, this could be a plethora amount of things. But I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with outside or you could be dealing with networking with others. Okay, but I also feel like you and your partner, you might be feeling like this person's non-committal. With the hair of fine energy here in reverse, also the five of cups. Okay, like somebody feels like as though they're drowning out of a situation. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I do feel somebody feels like this energy or this vibe of somebody who feels left out or emotionally they felt like. There was enough blood that was shed. You have to free yourself away from this situation for some of you guys. It's time to take control back of your life. So if you feel like shit's getting out of control, it's time to definitely trust your instincts, okay? This also could be that you just need a little bit of playfulness as well to recapture some romance. Or this could be coming up 
towards the end of January for some of you Capricorns, but I feel like you have to trust the situation. You definitely need to speak to somebody that you trust, okay? Or someone that can help you to give you some support, some realistic answers and appreciation is what I'm getting here, especially with this forgiving and learning, okay? So you might be shooting out a phone call to somebody or there could be some information that you might receive that you need to talk to a friend about in your relationship. But I'm also seeing, yeah, this could be uh, for some of you Capricorns, some of you guys have cut something off permanently with this 10 of pentacles, okay? But I'm also seeing five of wands, moon energy. Somebody is definitely holding back, okay? Could be a Piscean energy here. But I feel like somebody has some things in waiting or they feel as though they have to um, kind of sit around and wait. You got the Empress in reverse here, Queen of Wands. And I feel like some of you guys are not waiting on this energy. But at the same time, Five of Pentacles in reverse here. So somebody's either being shut out or somebody um, feels ostracized. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I feel somebody's uneasy with their energy and love. Okay, yeah, Nine of Swords are kind of going a little crazy. Capricorn, your person's going a little nutty over there. <laughs> Ace of Wands here. It could be a sexual energy. Somebody just needs some sex to calm their ass down. You got the Four of Pentacles energy here. Somebody that needs to either sit their motherfucking ass down or it's a sexual energy that they're wanting to start brand new. But you got the Justice at the bottom of the deck. So Capricorns, I feel between you and your partner, this could be a Libra. I'm also getting Leo, Sag, Aries, and Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Also Virgo and Taurus, definitely Tauren energy here with this Four of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel coming up, Capricorn, you guys have new beginnings here. You could have been in between having some issues with deciding some things or fears or coming out of fear, but I feel with this ace of cups here there is somebody that wants to bring in a new love this is that fairness and balance okay especially if you were in your head going back and forth with certain things that you felt somebody need to present to you i feel like there is a new love here with this ace of cups okay but i also see that somebody could be definitely feeling shut out like they somebody being very cold okay ice queen elsa Let's see about possible outcomes for my Capricorns. We got the Six of Cups here, Three of Cups, okay, and Three of Swords. So some of you guys are dealing with some heartbreak or somebody that's caused heartbreak to you or you could have caused heartbreak today, monkey ass. But I feel with the Six of Cups energy here, Three of Cups, there's somebody who's leaving a situation behind due to somebody who could have been drinking too much, overindulging, okay, somebody who wanted their independence here. But this is why you had to free yourself away from this situation because there was too many people that could have been in the mix. Okay, family, friends, uncle, daddies. Four of Pentacles, also Ten of Swords here. So yeah, I feel like somebody's turned down an offer. Definitely a lot of uh, badass behavior, okay? Or somebody who was very angry. And with omission, you were like, fuck that shit, I'm out. <laughs> Now, you could be dealing with two different energies here as well. Capricorn, there's a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also getting Aries and Gemini and Virgo. And somebody definitely might be switching up on you or they might be changing their love or the way that they feel about love. But I'm getting two different energies here. King of Wands, also King of Cups. Oh, shit. Yeah, somebody's making their way towards you. I feel like once somebody gives them the green light, somebody is definitely getting ready to like rush your direction, okay? Or this also could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that some of you guys had to leave away from to find some confidence, find your strength back. But I do feel like this is justice, whether it was through a relationship that came to a halt or had a break or a separation. But I feel like there's a new beginning here with this Ace of Wands, okay? So, let's get possible outcomes for my Capricorns. A lot of communication happening with the Eight of Swords here. Possible outcomes for my Capricorns. Definitely could be a lot of people that you're having to like think about pushing out the way or it's too many people that's in the way. You got the devil energy here, which is you. 
okay? Or you might feel as though you push somebody, push them to the limit. <laughs> so let's see what's up. I'm definitely picking up Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, also toward an energy. Yeah, there's that King of Pentacles. So this could be you or a tortoise here. But I'm also picking up, uh, some of you guys have had a relationship or a marriage that could have went into separation. Some of you guys, it went sour. But I feel somebody has to get their shit together first before things can actually, before somebody can actually take responsibility and pull their weight. Okay, with this devil and the emperor, there was a lot of control or someone was trying to control the situation. I feel like uh, there's, there's somebody who took a break. After someone tried to control things and there's definitely a level up or someone having to let go of the same old thoughts, same old experiences with this Ten of Swords. Okay, King of Sword energy here and ending that once again is the Eight of Wands. So somebody's wanting to communicate with you or somebody's cutting off some communication with you, Capricorn. Or this could go vice versa, you know. Uh, but I definitely pick up that this is somebody who's wanting to like thrive. This could be Sagittarian energy as well. But I feel like this person wants to thrive with you, even though they feel blindsided or you could feel blindsided with this person, you know. But I do feel uh, tower energy here, three of wands. Somebody's letting go of a situation. But with this magician here, five of swords, it's definitely a lot of mental conflict that's going on. But I feel with the magician, some of you guys are going to pull yourself out of that. Okay, judgment and also four of cups, ten of cups. So there might be somebody who's very withdrawn, very bored. But I feel somebody's going to have to give in to a situation with this Knight of Wands here coming up, okay? So possible outcomes. Oh, I don't know why my nose is itching, but possible outcomes. Um, I'm seeing that somebody's truth is getting ready to come out because they feel stuck. Could be Scorpion energy here with the Seven of Swords and the Death, okay? Or I'm seeing that somebody is trying to renew or change or heal a family situation. But this is harmony coming through. So some of you guys got that justice that really is returning or making a turn back around or there's some information or a conversation that you got some unfinished business. Like I said, some plans that are being set into action either to show you some love or to definitely heal this, heal your situation, okay? All right, my loves. I love you guys all oh, so much. I hope that this resonated. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.